like I was saying earlier, he's uh, he's a very underappreciated athlete in in uh, Canadian sports history. Um, maybe the most underappreciated athlete of all time uh, for Canada. You've got an athlete here that, that won uh, two gold medals in 100 and 200 meters at the Olympics, the two premier Olympic events for track and field, and, and most Canadians uh, don't even, aren't even aware that, uh, that he did this um, in 1928. Um, and we, we have a statuette here, and um, I'd say most, if not all, people that, that walk by it aren't even aware that uh, um, this is a Vancouver man that uh, that won two Olympic medals. Uh, I think most just think it's a generic statue. So it's, in terms of his significance, I think he's he's definitely one of the greatest Olympic athletes that that Canada um, has ever produced. Who was not expected to um, uh, win? Yet when you look at him, he should have won, and uh, he was not even expected to play sports because in 1924 the doctors diagnosed him with rheumatic fever okay. and a weakened heart. Right. Well, given medicine of the day, you know, you take it easy. Don't right. don't you do any sport? But then he was discovered at Brockton when he outran the uh, defending uh, Vancouver District High School champion across the field, <laughs> and uh, Granger looked at him and said, "That kid can run." Because he came out of nowhere, I mean, I don't think even even Percy expected to win uh, one medal in in Amsterdam, let alone two. Because he came out of nowhere and was so young, um, after the Olympics, he went on a bit of a, um, a an American tour. Um, there's a, an American track circuit, um, and he ran on on all sorts of surfaces, outdoor, indoor, wooden tracks, that sort of thing. They called it the Tour of Guts, and. Uh, he ran something like 22 races in about 23 days and won all but one. Um, and you'd have to check the facts on that, but, but it's something that effect. And a lot of these American runners were gunning for this guy that suddenly was the Olympic champion. Um, I mean, he was just some guy from Vancouver. And where the, in those days, where was Vancouver? Um, that, you know, that, that's actually an important point. It, um, there hadn't been many internationally known athletes that had come from the city um, and he was he was one of the first and I know um, it's been written numerous times that that when Percy won those medals he kind of put Vancouver um, on the map <laughs>